few weeks ago, I started trying to double my website SEO output. As you can imagine, this has been a bit of a drag. Doing that SEO research takes time. It's kind of frustrating because sometimes it doesn't work after you've put all this effort into it. And writing about stuff that ranks well isn't always the most exciting thing in the world. So I was really interested a couple days ago to get an email from my contact at SEMrush. So SEMrush is this SEO platform. And she said, hey, we just put out this new tool called Content Shake AI. Would you be willing to test it and put a video up of it up on YouTube? And I was like, you know what? Hit me, Brooke. Give me that content. Let me see if this is any good for making this like website content that I know I have to make, but I kind of don't really want to do it myself. This video is going to be an honest review. Yes, even though Semrush paid me to make this video, an honest review of Content Shake, of how it works, how much it costs, what I used it for, my experience, and whether I'd recommend it um, for writers or content writers or people like me who know that they should be doing more SEO work on their website, but just don't really feel like it. So let's jump in. What is Content Shake? Number one. So let's start with what Semrush says Content uh, Shake is. Content Shake is a smart content writing tool that helps you create high quality content in your unique style and automate your entire content production. It sounds pretty good. Um, I was, yeah, I was super excited to test this out for that reason. Let's see if it works like that. So when I started testing it out to see how it worked, basically this is how you do. You, you, as soon as you set it up, it starts prompting you to find out what your business is about so it can generate some writing ideas for you. And this is, this is one of the things I love the most because once I have some keyword ideas, I can do the research myself, but coming up with those keyword ideas, uh, I, it's just a struggle for me personally. So I, this stream lent it tremendously and I loved being able to see the keyword frequency and the, um, the estimated difficulty. That was great. Easily one of my favorite features. What I didn't love about this. So as you can see, when I put in a couple keywords at the start of the video, I said, you know, I do a bunch of stuff. I do SEO strategy, writing, coaching, blah, blah, blah. All the ideas are about coaching though. So what if I'm like, oh, I don't really want to write about coaching today. Tough luck. The ideas will not refresh for another week, so sorry. <laughs> Take away from this, when you do this, put your most exciting thing that your business is about at the start, not at the end like I did. And also feel free to use that don't show me this in the future as I will so that it doesn't show you that idea again in the future. Once you've selected your idea, it will then give you five titles to choose from. These are all mostly different angles coming at the same subject. You pick it and then it just starts writing for you. And this was kind of exciting for me because um, it just like, it's, it takes a hot minute to start, but once it starts, you can see the cursor moving a la chat GPT. And I thought that was so fun uh, just watching it, creating this content, this outline for you. If you look over here, you can see that it allows you to select the tone, the readability, how hard it is to read, how easy and the length. Now I will note that the marketing copy said that it will generate content quote in your unique style end quote and this this was not my unique style. This was AI's sadly unique style. Nobody else writes like AI other than AI. So I was not super impressed with that capability. And honestly, I found all of the AI generated text to be kind of bland, but use this again. I use this as an outline, not as a text generator itself. And with that, I was happy. I was just editing this video and I thought it might be useful to add. I've actually got a link in the video description of an outline that Content Shake generated for me and the final product of what I ended up drafting based on that outline. Hopefully this will give you some idea of the starting product versus where I took it to. Ultimately, I was still happy with having that outline. Like again, with the really boring subjects, even the outline is hard because I just don't think I have that much to say on the topic. And then once I'm like, oh wait, no, I do have ideas on like writing coach rates and all this other stuff. So getting the outline was helpful, but you can see how little of the original text remained in my blog post. It also gives you a little checklist and an updated list of suggestions. I love this kind of crap. I love a checklist. So I was really excited to go through and say like, oh, how can I optimize for SEO, readability, blah, blah, blah. And what I really loved was it would say, hey, this is a long and kind of complex sentence. How would you fix this? And um, what I would often do, what I what the tool let me do, was highlight it and just click simplify. And yes, you can do this with ChatGPT, um, but it was nice to be able to do it just all within the tool itself. You can keep clicking expand or simplify on as much of the AI generated outline it produced until you've got a whole article, basically. 
Um, and then you can export it straight to WordPress or Google Docs, which is what I use because I'm not on WordPress. And you can also get it to generate just about any other kind of text. Like I got it to write this little anecdote about Sarah, one of my alleged coaching students that I have. Um, but there's a big problem. I, I hated all the almost all the text that it produced, again, because it's this very bland, wishy-washy, AI style of text, um, definitely not my unique tone, which is a real shame. I use this as an outline generator. I use it for SEO research. I use it as this kind of checklist for SEO and for readability. I don't use it to generate content because I, I, I did not like the content that it generated. So how much does Content Shake costs? It will set you back $60 a month. This felt quite steep to me, to be honest, um, especially when ChatGPT Plus is $20 a month but I do see the value of having all of these SEO tools all in one place. Um, you don't have to keep clicking around. So this $60 a month gives you a couple of different things. It gives you A, 25 ideas per week. Now, as far as I could tell, this was the five main ideas. And then within each of these, it will give you five title suggestions. I don't know that I would call that 25 ideas since it was really five ideas and five headline options per idea, but that's what you get. You also get all of the features I mentioned above, the expand, simplify, generate AI content. There's no limit on the amount of AI content you can generate. With the free plan, you basically get a much more limited set of those features. So you can try it out with the free version. Um, and you can also see that the $60 gets you basically unlimited AI generation, 25 weekly ideas, up to hundred ideas per, per month. Here's the elephant in the room. The question is not, uh, is Content Shake a good product? The question is, is Content Shake three times better than ChatGPT3? Or sorry, ChatGPT Plus. ChatGPT Plus costs $20 a month. Um, Content Shake AI costs $60 a month. Is it worth paying $60 a month for the functionality that I just showed you? I think honestly, if you're tired of jumping around from like 10 different SEO tools, like you've got your Market Muse, you've got your Keyword Planner, you've got your Arefs, um, and you've got ChatGPT plus open on a third window to create all this content, then yes, it is worth it for you because you will be able to automate that all and have it in one place. If you're more like me and you prefer writing, you maybe don't want to be publishing five articles a week, you maybe don't have a WordPress, WordPress blog, so you would need to do some manual copy pasting anyway, or you just love writing too much to pay someone else to do it for you, then this might not be the best choice for you. I encourage you to try out the free version for sure. See if it works. See if you get better results than I did for the writing. Um, it could be that my topics were just very boring to write about to begin with. But let me know what you think in the comments of this video review of the, of the tool itself if you tested it out. And also what you think about the state of AI text generation generally. It's been evolving a lot over the past few months and I'm keen to hear what you think. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everybody.